Hey everyone, it is Saturday, September 24th again. I'm going to do this a little bit differently during the day. So um, I've had a lot of requests because, you know, uh, SpaceX is putting more and more satellites into orbit all the time. Um, and in case anybody's wondering, they're, they're launching anywhere between 100 and 150 a month. And But just because they get into orbit, it then takes them about two to three months to move into their, you know, their correct position. So just because they're launching them now doesn't mean... You know that those are going to be coming online. However, um, you know they've been launching, you know, pretty much nonstop for the last couple of years. So uh, all of them are coming online all the time. And I'm going to try using. They have a speed test too, so I'm going to try doing both right now. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm only going to do six, seven, eight, nine, ten, basically in the evening. And the reason why is I checked all during the day, and during the day it's always you know perfectly fine. It's eighty, a hundred, something like that. The problem is at night. So we're at 6 o'clock right now. Uh, this first one's still doing pretty good. This is, again, Saturday, September 24th. Okay, 22 megabit per second. I know, you know, a lot of people are are posting in the comments to these, like, you know, what connection they have. Like, oh, I have a balanced 50 or balanced 100 or 30. And I'm like, that's great. If I had that, I probably wouldn't be using Starlink. But out here, I have a 6 megabit connection. That is the best connection I can get. So... Uh, I would love to have a better one, but as of right now, this is pretty much uh, as good as I can do right now. And it's still doing pretty well for 6 o'clock in the evening. Um, people are probably still outside. Anybody that's curious, I'm in northern Georgia. Uh, I know that there's a lot of people that watch these from out of the country. Not Georgia the country, but Georgia the state in the southern U.S., just north of Florida. Everybody knows Florida. So this one's doing pretty well, 19.8 megabit. Uh, down and about 10 up just a little shy of that okay that's not too bad so that's two with that speed test now i'm going to try going over to um to star links here because in the app i'm going to do their speed test it's not looking too bad it's 91 millisecond latency this is roughly what the other one's showing so i have no reason uh, not to believe that this is, isn't accurate. 41 megabit uh, download, 6 megabit upload, somewhere around there. That's not bad. What's this advanced? Oh, I know what advanced is. Oh, low battery, whatever. Network. Shows you everything that's on the network here. Uh, statistics. Oh, this is nice. Tells you how long it's obstructed. In the last 12 hours, it was obstructed 3 seconds for whatever reason. No signal for five seconds, the meaning I just happen to be in between satellites, but I mean still five seconds in the last 12 hours, and I can deal with that. Latency seems to be right around 70. Yeah, it seems to be averaging right around 70. And then the usage here, eh, not too bad. So I kind of like their app. This is actually Starlink's app. Uh, not too bad. Let's see what the visibility is. Oh, this was the visibility I did when I set it up. So you can see here, if you look south... You don't need near as much room south. You need it because it needs to point north. So uh, to the south of the satellite dish isn't near as bad. But to the north, you can see it's all clear for me, except too little right there. And that's just a tree. It says that the Starlink hasn't been obstructed recently. So I think that's just a little bit of the top of a tree that I have that I might have to end up taking down. But anyway, that was the six o'clock one. I'm going to obviously do uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 to show you exactly what it looks like during peak hours. All right, it is 7.03 or something like that, so we're going to do 7 o'clock here. So we're definitely getting more into the, uh, wow, getting more into the time frame, the peak time. Look at that. That's amazing. Because I'm not used to seeing that in peak time. Because 7 o'clock is definitely in peak time. Maybe, um, wow, 75. Cool. I really like that. Upload's nothing to write home about. but We're going to do two on here and then I'll switch over to Starlink. Okay, that was one. Let's do number two. And like I said, it's 7.05 right now. Ooh, that ping is way worse. We must be at the edge of satellite range. See what I mean? 
it's like, what was it, 90 something, and now it drops down to one? Look at that, that's terrible. 1.63 megabit. And then 3.94. And let's see what their speed test says. So again, this is the Starlink app. They have their own speed test. 41 megabit per second download. And it looks like it's somewhere around 3... Yeah, 2.9 megabit upload, but that one was only 39 millisecond latency too. So I'll be back at 8 o'clock or a little bit after 8 o'clock for the next one. Hey, y'all, uh, I missed the uh, 8 o'clock. This is the 9.15. Um, they actually just launched in the last uh, hour. It was like 7.45, 8 o'clock, right around there. They actually launched a Starlink, a new bunch of satellites. So watching that one too, if anybody else wants to watch that, they always do replays if you go on YouTube to SpaceX. Or NASA Spaceflight is another good channel. They have a lot of stuff. And NASA Spaceflight actually does a lot of, um, you know, the Starship stuff and everything else if you're a fan like I am. So, ping is plenty bad for this one, 223. But the speed, mm, speed isn't too bad. Not great. But, I mean, that's good enough to stream ultra high def, so... Just as long as nobody else is using anything. Or anybody, just as long as nobody else is using any bandwidth, I should say. There's number one. Let's do a number two. Should be better, hopefully. Eh, 230. Ping. And again, guys, I live in the southern U.S. Um, it's a lot more spread out here. I know up north, you get a lot better speeds than what we get down here. Now that's... As the, you know, more and more satellites get into orbit, obviously that's going to be taken care of. But as of right now, we don't get as good of speeds as if you're far north in the northern latitudes. Like the, the UK should be good. Um, you know, Canada, northern states in the US should be good. So that was 3.07 megabit per second download and three, but almost the same, three up and down. Uh, now what I'm going to do is just go over to the start link and see what they have. Apparently I have to go out and then come back. Ooh. Now they're only showing 86 or 73 millisecond latency. And what was that about eight or so? 4.2 megabit per second download. 4.3 upload. So again, balance is just pretty bad. So, um, uh, I'll be back here. That's not very good. Uh, I'll be back here. Now, I am also still streaming, so I'll be back in another uh, hour, 10 o'clock, and we'll do another one. All right, everyone. It is quarter after 10 right now. We're going to do another three. We're going to do two here. I'll tell you what. Something's going on because I've been having really poor connection for about the last half an hour or so. I don't know if satellites are out of range or what's going on there, but, I mean, it's not ter terrible. Six. the ping of 142 that's not very good but it just hasn't been streaming very well for me tonight saturday night i mean look at that the upload is better than the download maybe yeah kind of disappointed in it tonight number one let's try number two See, look at this. The ping is all really high tonight. Yeah, you can see. I just don't know what's going on. I'm going to try theirs. 
uh, Starlink, see what Starlink is getting. So you guys have seen I'm right around 3 uh, megabit down, so I want to see what theirs is doing. Is it even going to? Yeah. All right, well, it looks like their speed test and my speed tests are pretty much matching. Three megabit. I just, I don't know. I don't get what's going on tonight. Must be loaded down real heavy, it seems like, tonight. I guess this is, uh, I don't know, football season, but I couldn't really. I mean, it was last weekend, too, so. All right, well, there it is, 3 meg down, 3.7 meg up, 124 millisecond latency. Still in peak hours, I'm uh, going to try it again after 11. Hey everybody, it's about 11.20 right now at night. Uh, that's 11 p.m. 20 at night. We're going to go ahead and do another speed test. Uh, speed test, it's still, I don't know what's going on with it tonight, but there's issues. Ping's 152, not very good. My ping has been really high tonight, no idea why. And again, it's getting later at night. Still only seeing 8. Was at 8.4 megabit per second. Uh, download speed. I, I just I keep having a problem with the download, but the upload seems to be doing okay. I mean, it's not great, but... You know what, it could be also, I mean... It could be whatever the streaming service is that I've been using, but it's been cutting out a lot. And again, look at the ping, 153. Maybe I need to uh, restart my router or something, but this is w much worse than normal. After this, we're going to do a speed test on the, um, on the Starlink app. But I'm going to check my network, you know, to see if there's been any obstructions or anything. There shouldn't be. I mean, hell, I've been taking trees down today, not putting them up. Yeah, so we're 8 to 10. And see this latency, they're showing 53, and I was showing over 100. On my other, my independent one, see, that's the only thing. I'm like, oh, the Starlink's telling you their speed. That's fine, but I don't know. I prefer independent. And 1.4 megabits upload. Well, let's check the statistics here. Latency. See, and they're showing latency just constantly below 91, but it's not what I'm seeing. There's been no obstructions in the last 12 hours. Or, I'm sorry, five seconds of uh, obstructions. Okay, network issues has been 20 seconds. No idea what that is. Um, and then my usage there. So, I don't know. We'll try it again after midnight. But uh, but my speed test has been just really high tonight. So, we'll do it again a little bit after 12 o'clock. And we'll check it again, see, see how it's working. Hey, guys. It is just quarter after 12 right now. So, we're going to give this one more shot. It should be... Hopefully better. Okay, ping's making me feel a lot better. But man, that speed is still low. It's, it's recovering right now, but I still think usually at this time of night, it's like in the 50s and 60s. For download speed, look at this. Eh. It's settling back down now. We'll do two here. It just seems like there's something wrong tonight. Because I haven't seen it this bad before. I haven't seen this seen it this bad consistently. Yeah, so ping is 62, which is much better. And now, you know, it's, the speed's getting better. But like I said, usually this time of night, it's about double that. I'm going to check on Starlink's app. So that was 23.3 megabit with a 62 millisecond ping. So 
we'll go after this one finishes up to the Starlink cap. That was 5.19. So 23. Okay. I mean, it seems reasonable. There we go. Well, there's their app saying it's a little bit higher than what I was seeing. On both fronts, but the latency is a little bit higher too. Mm, eight megabits, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. And just one last time, let me just check the uh, statistics here. Latency looks like it, yeah, latency looked like it went up a little bit last time. Uh, obstructed for five seconds in the last 12 hours, which is not bad. Usage and everything else. Okay, so. Not entirely sure what the problem is. Maybe maybe I need to just re restart the router, but it just seems like the, the ping was higher than normal and the speeds are slower than normal. So again, it's Saturday. Uh, actually, it's Sunday. just rolled over into Sunday, but it's the Saturday the 24th. So I'm going to go ahead and post these and see if anybody else was having this issue. Anybody else as Starlink is having this issue tonight, Saturday, uh, September 24th. So if you do... Uh, leave me a comment. Otherwise, guys, uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to be doing these all the time to see if it's getting faster and faster because I know that this speed is kind of slow for some people, but um, but it's only going to get faster too. They're getting, you know, but before you go and spend because it's five hundred dollars for the um, you know for the dish and it's like sixty dollars for a roof mount and then it's a hundred and ten dollars a month, you know. So before you go and spend all that. You know, I'm sure you'd like to know kind of what to expect during peak time. During off-peak time, like, hell, 6 o'clock in the morning, you're going to be seeing, I'm usually seeing 240 to 260 megabits, but that's because everybody's asleep, including myself for the most part. So I uh, hope everybody's having a good night. Like and subscribe. I'm going to keep posting these uh, every week so we can see how the network gets faster. All right, have a good night.